Hey, it's Matt here for ABC and welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be showing you how to align your window trim rings with your windows and cut out your wall kit to match. It's from the windows to the walls. Let's get to work. In preparation for our wall to window alignment, we have of course installed our window in the van and we've installed our rear lower wall section. Now this rear lower wall section can be wrapped or unwrapped. We have the majority of our wall kit wrapped already, so we just installed it as is. Our first thing we're going to do is just put a little section of tape here up and grab our section of wall and install it. Our next step is going to be test fit our rear wall section in place. And to do that, we're going to use a couple of self-tapping sheet metal screws and our screw gun. With our wall in place, I like to put my screws in line with the eight millimeter threaded inserts from Ford. And one at the bottom. With our wall in its test fit location, we're going to mark this top edge with a pen so we can measure from this down. Now remove the wall. With our wall down and our window exposed, we're going to dry fit our AVC window frames. Friction should hold the window in place. Now I'll take a measurement from my pen line to the center of my window frame on the top and bottom. Eight and an eighth and 19 and three quarters. I like to just write my measurement right on the wall. So our next step is a little bit tricky. We want to get our panel aligned with these screws in the exact same screw holes. With our window behind the wall, we're going to use some wood screws to attach our wall to our window frame. I like to use at least three screws keep the window frame from shifting on us. Now we'll remove our sheet metal screws and take down the wall and window as one piece. Now we'll take this out of the van to our work table. With our wall and window on our work surface, we're just going to take a pencil or a pen and trace the inner edge of our window frame to the wall. While we're at it, we can trace the outside as well. Now grab your screw gun and remove your window frame from the wall. Now we're going to cut our interior of the window section out. You can use whatever kind of saw you have handy. Uh, here at the shop, we have a track saw, and this is going to give us a more accurate cut, especially along these straight lines. If all you have is a jigsaw, that's going to work. Just take your time and be as accurate as possible. I wanted to put a quick tip in here to adjust the depth of our window frame in relation to our wall of our van. So the depth of the van here at the very back is a little bit shallower than it is at the front. So with this four and a quarter window frame, this plane is sitting deeper than the wall section here. By using a flat edge, we can see and visualize that difference. So we're going to have a little bit of a gap, which means the wall kit's going to pull the window off the wall, and that's totally fine. But back here at the back of the van, we're actually deeper with our window frame than where our wall kit is going to want to sit. So what we want to do is cut a quarter of an inch out of the back of this window frame. So I've marked at the back of the window here one quarter inch deep, and I marked a point at the front of the window that I want to keep flush. So I'm going to take my straight edge, I'm going to line it up with those two marks, I'm going to draw a line between the two, and I want to remove this bit of material along the back half of my window. Now with my utility knife, I'm going to cut along this edge and remove that back little quarter inch. With our window frame trimmed, we're ready to remount to our wall and do our final test fit. Now let's get back in the van. Back in the van, we're ready for our final test fit. Looks like everything fits well, so we're ready to jump to our wrap station and get this ready for final install. We're over here on the passenger side with a panel that's ready for install. You'll notice that I've already aligned my screws in the panel because it's a little bit easier to do that on the table. So let's go ahead and lift it into position and install. Ah! 
And with that, this window frame to wall is looking good and matched up. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so others can find it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, come on down and join us. We'll see you on the next video. First try!